one of our own, Serena Vasquez, is getting a heart. The donor is an 18-year-old boy from Buffalo. The incision time is 9 a.m. There's been a complication in the OR. Serena Vasquez is dead. We can't waste a heart. It goes to somebody else in this hospital. It has to be beating by 11 a.m. We need to be prepping someone else by 9.30, the latest. Talk about getting thrown into the fire on your first day. And sort through the matches, make a decision. Our first patient is Janet Pike. The idea of having someone else's heart in her body is disturbing to her. Yet yeah, she's still listed. You want Walter to have the heart. Walter has the right disposition. If I get rejected again, just let me go home. Third match is Trip Granger. His father's Emmett Granger, Granger Venture Partners. When I heard about that heart, I couldn't help but think that God was looking after us. We can agree to disagree. $25 million. We pick Trip, and we're saving much more than one patient. I spent 10 years of my life on this committee. Suddenly there's money in the equation. We got this guy looking over our shoulder. Trying to figure out what a day of life is worth. It's always been about maximizing assets. Unfortunately, the assets happen to be human organs. You haven't disclosed everything. You're lying about your health. You need to name a successor. It's blood money. Let the committee decide that. We take it and we put it to work. They have to cut another deal to keep this quiet. Dr. Taylor, you're the decider. Did you know that some people think Tom Cruise has healing powers? According to Tony Ortega, editor of the Scientology blog, The Underground Bunker, Cruise's title within the church is Operating Thetan 6, which apparently means he has the ability to heal sprained joints, colds, sore throats, or with just a simple touch. Obviously, we can't say whether this has been confirmed or not, but I'm sure you guys can make up your own minds. If you like my shirt, you can get one for yourself in the link in the description.